everybody, especially warm welcome to all Assassin's Creed fans. Finally it is here, it is the last episode of Assassin's Creed Collector's Editions Guide, at least for now, unless Ubisoft will decide to make a new game. In this episode we will first visit Egypt, with Assassin's Creed Origins and then we will go back to Ancient Greece with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. As we have progressed, we have seen just how standardized all collector's editions have become. Sadly, that doesn't mean equal. <sighs> it seems that Ubisoft has one region that they like to treat better than the others. Guess which one? If you guessed Europe, Australia and Middle East, you guessed correct. Now guess which region is treated the worst. If you guess Asia, you guess again correct. But American region, like North America and South America, are right behind. Well, Ubisoft, why are you doing this? Why cannot all collectors order those special limited statues from all over the world? What's wrong there? Why? Okay, and with that little rant, let's start with Assassin's Creed Origins. And this one is very, very unique because collector's editions in this game came closest to equality what it can be. So close that there is actually only one different collector's edition that was regional only. So, what did we get for North America? There were three options there. First of all was God's edition. There we got statue of Bayak standing on some kind of lion's head, obligatory soundtrack, now very popular map, map of Egypt, ancient Egypt obviously, and of course hardcover art book. But that was it, no steel book and no steelbook neither in Europe nor in US. What was remarkable was just how the box was done. You could see on it four different Egyptian gods from each side of the box. That was done never before and never after. I would say that that box was done really well. If you didn't like just how that Bayak looked, then you went for something better and more luxurious. You went for Down of the Creed Collector's Edition. There you got Bayak again, but this time posing as Robin Hood, Man in Tights. Well, he doesn't have seven arrows there, just three, but that's good enough. A part of that supernatural Bayak, you also got what you got in the God's Edition. That means soundtrack, map, art book. And what else did you get here? Okay, you also got two lithographs. Uh, seeing just how they are, I guess I could lift without them and a rare steel book. This one you could only get in this edition, in the Down of the Creed edition. If you liked that Bayak so much that you wanted to have him in an XXL version, you went for the Down of the Creed legendary. Limited to 1000 pieces, you got 80 centimeters tall statue. Whoa! 
the biggest statue yet. The size of it is of a half of a human body. However, that Bayak looked exactly identical to the smaller version from down of the creek. Now you are maybe asking, if they are selling them online, how do I recognize if it is a giant or a small one? Okay, it took me hard and long time to find what is different. And the most noticeable difference is at the end of the pillar. The small one has it all nice with all pictures visible. Like if the pillar has only fallen recently. But the big one has a well-aged pillar. Meaning that the down part has lost its coloring and partially also visibility what was carved there before. So that's the best way how to recognize big and small. Now that we have that off the hook, what else did legendary edition contain? Obviously, the same thing as Down of the Creed standard edition, if I can call it standard, which is map, soundtrack, art book, two lithographs, and that special steel book. You remember I told only in this edition and then call it Down of the Creed. That is correct because both of them are called Down of the Creed. Just one is called Legendary. I would say XXL version would be better. And a part of those two lithographs also another four. This time XXL version as well, as they were of the size of normal Ubisoft statues. A part of these three editions, we also get one regional in Europe. As usual, we got something called Deluxe Edition. Way not to confuse consumers because there was also a deluxe edition in North America, except that that one did not contain soundtrack and a map. Good, that is all for Origins, and we can move to Odyssey. If you thought that with Origins, Ubisoft was finally in a correct direction to unify them all, you were thinking wrong, because we got one step back. As a collector in North America, you had only two choices this time. You could either take Spartan Edition or Pantheon Edition. So Spartan Edition was the smaller version, but still a very big box, I must tell you that. It depicts Alexios, Jumping on something, then there is the obvious. Soundtrack, art book, map, and one lithograph. But I must say, the box itself is done very well. So we are finally getting those better looking boxes in North America. You also got one steel book there. You got the same things in Europe. Why do I have there two ads put there? Let's play find one difference. So what is it that was different in Europe as compared to US if the content was the same? If you already know, good for you, but if not, let me introduce the difference. Tada! Yes. Two different steel books. Europe got this one, while North America got this one. It doesn't sound to be a biggie, 
since each of them got something special for their region, except this one you could also get in Steelbook Edition. But this one was only to those special Spartan and Pantheon editions, which sadly makes European version of that edition more valuable than US version. The most luxurious version for North America and also for Europe was Pantheon edition. Pantheon edition had the same content as Spartan edition except of the second statue. It didn't have a name and it was called Enemy. However, this time both statues were packed in separate boxes and there was no nice diorama when you unpack them. Since those two big collector's editions were more or less the same, Europe got another option, an economic version of Spartan edition called Medusa edition. That means if you wanted the same statue, just on an uglier stand, instead of a nice pillar, an ugly Medusa head, but to have everything else, like art book, soundtrack, map, then you went for this edition. It was cheaper, more affordable, and the box is the ugliest I have ever seen, at least when it comes Assassin's Creed editions. And the last one that only Europe got was Omega Edition. The idea was very same as for Deluxe Edition from Origins. At the very least, this time the name was different so that the collectors won't be confused that much. Even this time, my dear collectors, I have my honorable and dishonorable picks. First is Cancelled Edition. This was supposed to be a legitimate GameStop only edition together with a steelbook and a statue of Cassandra. Unfortunately, the statue did not look as appealing, so people went more for Spartan or Pantheon editions, and at the last moment GameStop decided not to sell it as an edition, and they were selling those statues alone standing. In Europe, in Spain, maybe you have heard of something called Pyramid Edition. This is not a collector's edition. This is just game packed together with some gifts. And here I would call it dishonorable pick. Why? Because while the postcards are correctly from Assassin's Creed Origins, that small pyramid that was supposed to be a holder of something is not. There is nothing to distinguish that product as Assassin's Creed franchise product, which means you can easily take it and sell it as a candle holder, which it actually is. That's the reason why I call it dishonorable pick. And the last one I have tracked in Australia. This was supposed to be so-called Apple of Eden Collector's Edition. Just like in previous cases, idea is to sell merchandise together with the game in order to attract collectors. This time it is the Apple of Eden from Assassin's Creed's Origins. However, I did not see any special outer packaging. That means, just like with my many other cases, it is a bundle and not a collector's edition. With this bundle, I can close my comprehensive collector's guide, 
for Assassin's Creed Collector's Editions. If ever there will be another Assassin's Creed game released, I will be more than happy to add another part. Do not be sad. We are not ending. There is much more in this franchise to talk about. The good news is that I am already preparing a new guide for all types of Assassin's Creed statues. And trust me, there are plenty out there by now. So many that a collector can get confused easily. That is why you will get that guide as well. And if ever you are also a Witcher fan, I am preparing something similar for Witcher which means about their steelbooks, collector's editions, and also statues. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe, and do not forget to comment. If you have any of these editions, what do you think about them? What do you think about Ubisoft treating different regions differently? And what would you like to see in my future guides? Thank you very much! Bye!